Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. To those that have been for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. You're all welcome to Barry's vlog channel. Talking about a tragedy that just happened on January 2nd, 2021. That was exactly yesterday morning. A bride died three hours before her wedding. This is sad. A bride by the name of Fatima Hassan Fari has died on her wedding day in Funtua local government area of Castina State. However, it was gathered that Fatima, that's the bride-to-be, died exactly at 7 a.m. on Saturday, being yesterday, January 2nd, 2023, hours to be precise, to her wedding. Wow. And her wedding was actually slated for 10 a.m. That wedding, Fataya, slated for 10 a.m. And however, according to the Muslim rights, because she's Muslim, she was buried that same yesterday at exactly 2 p.m. As such, the cause of her death has not been known yet. They have not said the reason why she passed away. There's someone who was actually healthy, preparing for her wedding, Friday, woke up, the new year, everything happy and excited. Saturday morning, woke up, and then few hours, just few hours, wow, 7 a.m., this beautiful lady passed away. You can't see her. She's so beautiful and young. You'll be wondering what must have killed her, what must have happened to her. It's really a tragedy. However, um, members of her friends and families have also taken, you could see the write-ups, tributes they're actually paying to her. Those are the tributes that her friends and her families had to go to Facebook to mourn her death. Her school friends, one in particular, what's um, Malam? Muhammad Sani Issa described Fatima as an upright lady and a humanitarian. So they had lots of good things to say about her. They said, farewell to my school friend Fatima Hassan Fari, who left us today's morning, that was on Saturday morning, to go to a better place where there is no pain and she can join her father. So it was, it was also pointed that her dad, had also passed away, which is such a pity too. Oh, what a great loss to her family. Father is gone now, the daughter is gone, about to get wedded, wedded and she is gone. And it's so painful that all the preparations were made for her. Everybody was excited for her. Family and friends, some people had even traveled far and near to come. They were already in the house, making all the arrangements for the wedding. Nobody knew that this lady was not even going to see her own self getting married. It is really, really painful and so heartbreaking. She came into the new year, saw the new year, just stepped into the new year. You can imagine just like one step ahead of the new year and she's gone. Life can never be predicted. You can never know what will happen the next minute or the next second. Another friend said, I truly had her in a million. She was a perfect upright lady and total humanitarian. No matter what people said or if they did her wrong, she will not judge but look for an amicable solution. She faced foe with a brave heart and will not retreat from the cause until all parties were happy. I at times accused her of making excuses for the devil. Her motto was, even if the other person is wrong, 
you do what is right. What a good tribute to pay for her. That means this lady was really, really outstanding, had good characters, had good morals. She was someone who was out there to make peace with people. Lots of good things were said about her from her friends and family members. They quickly went to Facebook to pay tribute to her because it was such a great loss and sudden loss. No one actually expected that Fatima was going to leave. Leave so soon. Because this death happened so soon. Wow. It's really heartbreaking. I pray that the soul of Fatima rests in peace and I pray that Almighty God will console her family and her friends, well wishers, every other person that knew her, that around her. May God console them all. This is one of the greatest pain of death you can ever experience around yourself or around a family member because you're seeing somebody is healthy, happy and okay, everything. She even woke up that morning. So that's why it's so heartbreaking. This person is not sick. Nothing is wrong with this person. They have an accident, nothing. And then suddenly this person passes away. You know, it's a great shock to keep her family and friends in shock. Like I just saw this person, spoke with this person and minutes later the person is gone or hours later the person is gone. No one can ever tell what happens the next minute or the next day in life. So it's always good for us to make good use of every opportunity we have in life. Let's all try to be good to the next person we see because we can never tell. And let's try to make peace with people you have issues with. For instance, you just had have a fight with somebody and... You're seeing the person and maybe someone is trying to bring you all together. Make that peace because you can never tell what will happen the next minute. Make good use of, let's all make good use of our lives or every minute we see ourselves alive. Fatima never knew she was going to go. Here's someone who is preparing to get married. She didn't know she was leaving. Her family did not know, her friends did not know. And then the next minute, Fatima is gone. It's such a tragedy, such a great pain. Well, I, I, I guess they would still come up with the cause of her death. But at this moment, we're not so sure because she has already been buried. According to the Islamic rites, you bury once the person is dead that same day. So right now, we don't know if they're going to say exactly what killed her. Probably, they may still give us a reason why she passed or what was the cause of her death. Subsequently, if there's any reason why um, Fatima passed and it was said, you definitely get an update regarding this. It's really a great loss. Losing a family member... No matter how this person passes away, now they are mourning. Such a beautiful, healthy lady. You are now mourning the person and the person is gone and can't be seen again. It's really, really heartbreaking. We, we all pray that God will help and protect every one of us. Because no one knows the hour or the time. It's really, really painful because it's a new year and everybody is excited. We're getting into a new year with everything happening around. You know, people want to start, like, see how life could start afresh again. Because, like, starting life afresh again with everything that has been happening within the economy, within the environment. A lot of people have lost family members. People have lost lives, you know. A lot of things have happened and this year is trying to see like a fresh start to see what will happen better if things will get better this year with every other thing that is happening around. And then coming into a new year and then seeing death, it's never a good thing at all. 
Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you to everybody. God bless you all.